All right, y'all, we just saw Godzilla vs. Kong! This was our anniversary gift to, to ourselves. ourselves. We, uh, we signed up for HBO Max, because uh, it's... Big Stumpy Monster Movie Big dropped Stumpy. on our birthday! The birthday of our anniversary. The birthday of our wedding, yeah. <laughs> that works. I can't, I can't word sometimes. Oh my so god. So we decided to not do a before on this, because our before is the same for every Godzilla monster fight movie. Yeah, like, like I'm expecting big monsters fighting and destruction and chaos and fun times. The best part about Godzilla movies, the best part is that you never know what you're going to get. Like, sometimes they're scary, sometimes they're just... Sometimes they're Hedora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes they're just really well-made action movies. How are these American Godzilla movies just continuously getting better? Like, well, they I'm... could only go up from worm uh, worm specimens. Okay, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I wasn't even counting the Matthew Broderick one. I'm just, like, 2014 <laughs> they onward. They could only go up from there. Uh, it's just been this weird, like, like seeing that, like, they're finally understanding what makes these movies work. So, uh, Adam Winger, the director of this movie, knocked it out of the park. Dude understands his giant monster movies. See it on the biggest screen you possibly can. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Um, like... This movie was meant to be seen on as big as possible, and maybe in 3D. Yeah, uh, what a... So... I'm just sad we couldn't see it in IMAX. Uh, I, I'm completely with you. That said, what they did, fantastic visual work on the monsters. So good. So good. The lighting was phenomenal. Yeah, the really. The settings were phenomenal. The texture mapping was phenomenal. Um, hey, if you liked Kong in Skull Island, he's an even more fleshed out character here. And he has his human. Yeah, he's got a human buddy. His human buddy is deaf and I love her. Um. She must be protected. Millie Bobby Brown is back from the last Godzilla movie. Godzilla got some... Eh. Godzilla, they, they doesn't get as much screen time to kind of keep Godzilla a bit more mysterious. And I'm here for it. Well, the... I'm, the main character was a deaf girl. Yeah. Well, I'd argue that the main character in the movie is Kong. Well, like, yes. Yeah. But like, I'm saying the main human character is a small child who is deaf. Um, a friend of mine told me, uh, I, I, the, the, my friend T.S. Thomas and Claire, who, uh, is great. It's just one of my one of the best people I know. Um, was said to me that this movie does a great job world building on the previous films, and yes, great. It it it's not just continuity for continuity's sake. This is building on the ideas from the last three movies, and, and I can't believe it did that. Yeah, like it. This world feels fleshed out. And more lived in, and wow, the monsters are just such great characters. Like, I'm, I'm sad we didn't see more monsters, but we did see giant crabs. We did see a lot of monsters, though. We got we got like weird Quetzalcoatlus things. We got these. We got giant bat Snake birds. Uh, the skull crawlers from Skull Island came back. Yeah. Um, and my buddies, the skull crawlers. And I don't want to spoil, but. Uh, although apparently the trailers have started spoiling it. Way to go, trailers. Don't ruin this. There's a really great classic Toho monster that they didn't initially announce who they did an excellent job with. Yep. We are trying to keep this spoiler free. Trying to. It's... Watch Godzilla vs. Kong. Go watch it. Go watch it right now. Go watch it. I'm probably so, going to watch this more this week, maybe. Yeah, probably. And I'll see this again. So, like, without spoilers, I loved this movie. Uh, I don't know if I liked it as much as King of the Monsters, but I liked this one a hell of a lot. And I do think these movies are consistently getting 
like consistently improve in one way or another and mm -hmm. this is no exception yeah i i gotta um i gotta sit and figure out where it ranks in godzilla's for me but it's still really nice it's really really fun it's so much fun um here's the only spoiler that i'm gonna mention the more you know about dumb conspiracy theories, the more one character will make sense. Yeah, unfortunately, I will say that I've the been... The dumb Hollow Earth thing comes back. I'm... There's uh, one character Shout out who's... Jules Verne. There's... Yeah, I, no, that part I didn't have an issue with. The thing I had an issue with was they had a character who was a conspiracy theorist, and unfortunately, because I research conspiracy theorists, because I'm a masochist for some reason, um... It's funny watching people be stupid. It it can be funny watching people be stupid, but, like, every time this one character spoke with conspiracy theory stuff, I'm like, mm, man, he's an anti-Semite. No one who actually believes this isn't an anti-Semite. Oh, God. Um, like, outside of that, I... It's pretty great. Yeah, I, I really love this movie. I just wanted to point out that the Hollow Earth BS... From the last movie came into play. It, it, it is. And it's... It's a little easier to understand. Just kind of, you know, watch the... Um, Journey to the Center of the Earth. The one that came out when I was in high school. <laughs> Brendan Fraser, Journey to the Center of the Earth. And then that that's just... Just go with that for what the conspiracy theory is. Don't go with the actual Hollow Earth theory people don't know that there are dinosaurs at the center of the earth and whatever. That's the least offensive conspiracy theory in the entire movie. That's the sad part. Anyway. Alright. There's other stupid stuff, but, you know, it's also a kaiju movie. Really great movie. Maybe the best one kaiju yet. Kaiju Smash! Kaiju Smash. Stompy Monster Good. Yay! Yay! We might actually, at a later date, do a more in-depth review. We will definitely do a more in-depth review. Maybe, we just wanted to get our thoughts out right away. Maybe we'll we can like uh, compare all the uh, legendary Godzilla movies. That and means see how that they we need up. to get 2014 on Blu-ray. Hey, someone fund that. <laughs> anyway, as always, keep on, on spocking in, in the, the free world. world.